of school is, can be difficult. And we built this day to help you learn as much about us as, as, we pos as you possibly can. But the most important thing about our school is, is people. It's about the students and the faculty that live and work here every day. Uh, and uh, one of our favorite people on campus is our executive director, Dr. Pat Whittle, who is going to say hello. Thank you. Thank you. And if you haven't met Michael Thorpe, he is our uh, new director for the admissions process at the school. We're delighted to have him here. And uh, he, he'll talk about his staff in a few minutes. Um, you know, one of my favorite mottos, quotes, uh, actually comes out of the business world from Peter Drucker, and it says, the best way to predict your future is to create your future. And that's what you're doing today. You're talking about what you want your future to be like. Uh, what do I want, what kind of college do I want to get into? How do I want to be prepared? What do I want to do for, for a career? What's my calling in life? And so uh, that's one of the things that's exciting about the school. Uh, if you haven't looked at your course choices for today yet, uh, you'll be amazed at the variety of courses that you could be enrolled in today. Uh, and each one of those courses is taught not only by a passionate teacher, but by a content experienced teacher. All of our faculty have the knowledge to teach what it is that they're teaching to you. And that's, that's critical to the success of this school, that when you're in a high level science, math, humanities course, when you're taking the arts, you're taking those courses from teachers who, this is their degree, this is where they spent their own careers uh, developing and exploring. So that dynamic of teachers who have the passion and desire to teach and students like you guys who want to learn is what makes this school really special. And I hope you get a taste of that uh, today. Uh, this, is a, this is exciting. And we're so happy to see you here and look forward to the process as we work together. Thank you. <coughs> So the application process is really straightforward. We just need a few items from you. Student, there's your portion. That's what you fill out when you go online. And bear with us because we've got a new application process this year. We're bringing up a new database. It's all online. When you fill out your portion, that's what counts. When you hit the submit, that's what matters about priority deadlines. What matters is when you hit the submit button on your portion. So there's the student portion. There's a very brief parent statement. Now you can do this in one of two ways. Students on the application, there's one little block that asks your parents to fill that in. That counts. Parents, if you want to send me an email, I'd be delighted to look at the email and put it in your student's file. We need two teacher recommendations. It's your choice. It can come from either a math, sci a math teacher, a science teacher, or an English teacher. It's your choice which, I don't care, just two teacher recommendations. We need one counselor recommendation or your principal. We need your transcripts, ACT or SAT score, and it has to be a recent one, something that was taken since September. It needs to be the ACT with writing. So. ACT or SAT score, and if you attend a public school in Louisiana, you need, we need your LEAP scores and or your end of uh, course testing. Uh, so that's, that's what a complete application looks like. This is what the online form looks like. So hopefully you've, you've, done, you've logged on, you've created an account. Um, this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple and straightforward. If you forget your password, there's a place right up here. I had a, one family that, that forgot their password. And they also forgot which email address they had used, either the student's email address or the parent's email address. Um, so sometimes if you use this forgot password thing, you may have to try different, different email addresses to make sure that you get your password. If you continue to have problems, email me in the admission office, we'll figure it out. I cannot, however, I cannot, however, go in and find your password for you. There's no, there's no place in the back end of the application for me to, to find your password. So once you do have it, please write it down and keep it in a secure location. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, I'm sorry it didn't all fit on my screen and I'm not that tech savvy to, to get it all in one screenshot, but the point here is 
one, the instructions on the application change as we update the process. So check the instructions regularly. The other thing I want to point out are what these deadlines mean. And I, um, it's very important to, to understand this. When we say, and I think, yeah, priority deadlines. What priority deadline means is when students, you fill out your portion and hit the send button. That's what marks those, those deadlines. So all this means, our February 1 deadline that you've submitted your portion by February 1. We'll render a decision once all the other parts come in. So if you apply, students, if you hit the send button by February 1st, we'll count you as an early, an early applicant. We'll try to move that through as fast as we possibly can. Generally speaking, once your application is completed, it takes two to three weeks to get a decision. The, the final deadline, its priority deadline, is March 1st. We do accept applications after March 1st, but again, it's on a first-come, first-served basis. So that's what it means to have a priority deadline. I get this question all the time. What, what's the cutoff on the ACT? Well, we really don't have cutoffs. Um, and I know I talk about ACT and not SAT, but it, it, it's either one. What we're looking for when we review an application, it's a composite review. And the most important component part of the application is your transcript. What we most care about is what classes have you taken and how did you do in them. We want to see that you've taken the most challenging courses at your, at your school. And we want to know how you're performing day in and day out in the classroom. That's what's important to us. Yes, we also look at other things like counselor recommendations. We, we read your short answer students. We want to see how well you write. All of those things are important. Finally, we do look at ACT and SAT scores. They do have bearing on the admission process. We do not have cutoffs. It's a composite review. So if you've taken the ACT multiple times, that's great. Send us multiple, multiple scores. We'll look at all of your ACTs, and we'll only look at your best one. Uh, whatever makes you look better as a student, that's how we'll consider it in the admission process. If you're applying for 10th grade, if you're currently a 9th grader and you're applying for 10th grade, we require you to do an interview. So if you're applying for 11th or 12th grade, you don't have to do interviews. Just 9th graders have to do interviews. And these are the dates that we're doing them. There are multiple places to interview. We'll be in Sli I will be in Slidell on February 19th. Um, and you'll get information about that in an email. Baton Rouge on the 21st. Monroe on the 26th. Otherwise, you can interview here in Natchitoches anytime you want by interview, or by, by appointment. Try to give me at least a two week advance notice. Okay, I spoke about advance. Um, again, not a great screenshot, but what's important is that you, you can see the address. If you forget this address, all you have to do is go to the Northwestern site and search on advance. It's a great program, happens, uh, there it is, June 9th through June 20th. Um, 29. Uh, it's a great program and I would encourage all of you who are finishing the seventh or eighth grade to think about coming to advance. Okay, so hopefully everyone has my contact information. Um, if you don't, there, there it is. There's the, my direct phone number that rings right at my desk. There's my um, email address. That's the, the admission email address. In addition, I have a personal email address. That's M-T-H-O-R-P at lsmsa.edu.